Blue, this is Rory with Glass Technology. We have in today a 2014 uh, Ram 1-ton Dodge from a local body shop here in town that is repairing the rocker panel and rear quarter of the cab. It had been knitted in and their customer needed the whole thing replaced. Uh, they need the rear glass pulled out so that they can actually cut up here higher. Um, and so we're pulling that out for them. Uh, we're gonna use our new shortcut tool and let's get started. To prevent scratching of the paint on the inside of this corner here, we're gonna apply just a little bit of tape. Um, we're gonna go across the bottom of the pinch well and also go up the top side. This is just to prevent scratching of why we push the string through with our T-handle. This is our Gorilla Cord. Uh, it's the line we will be using today to remove this back glass. We'll be making a loop at the end just a few inches big. So at the center point of our loop, we will thread it into our T-handle and then we'll bring it over um, from the inside of the cab push it through the corner of the urethane, make a loop all the way around the glass, and then we will begin cutting. Now we'll be using a hook tool um, to grab the line, pull it off the T-handle, and actually get our loop started. When you do this, remember you want to pull on the long side of your line, not the side with just the short tail. Um, here we go. You can do it just in little sections. All we need inside the cab is about 10 inches worth of cord. And that should do it. We're going to now hook our anchor on. This is our anchor stop. Um, we use it because it's very simple. You put it on the glass one time, don't have to move it around. Um, it's very good at not damaging the dash, the body, and it's just very universal. Um, we have a video on it. It's our anchor stop again. Um, I'll show you quickly how we're going to use it. There's a more in-depth video though you, you can find online. So as in our other video, just make a quick loop. Go through the rubber wedge. Through the aluminum. Hold it over. Pull it tight and then pull it from the outside and get it pulled into location. You want to make sure the wedge goes between the glass and the body. And it is in. It's where it needs to be now. We'll go around the outside of the glass and come back to the inside for the shortcut. We're gonna go up the, around the top first because the glass will be your friend and hold the string where you want it. So now with this slack left, we'll pull the rest in from the inside. And it's pulling all the way around, but it's pretty easy. Don't have a load on it. Just, while you're doing this, you want to make sure your string's staying in the pinch weld everywhere. And now that it's up against the urethane all the way around, we should be good to go into mounting a shortcut. So now we're inside the cab. We're going to pull up enough string to come up to the top where our pulley will be on the shortcut. 
and then we want to have plenty to come back down to the spool. Go ahead and just cut it. So this is our shortcut tool we've been talking about. Uh, when you're doing a windshield, you can set it on the glass to string it. Uh, it's kind of easier to just set it on the dash and get it through the handle and through your spool. Back here, obviously, we have no dashboard. Go ahead and mount it to start with. Um, you want this pulley up in the corner. You don't want it too close where it's gonna damage body pa panel parts. Um, you get it in there. Suck it down. Want to bring the tail of your string through your handle, down through the two holes in the spool. So you come down one, through your groove, and back up the other side. Once you have that back in, go ahead and leave just a slight bit of the tail stick in there. If you'd rather have extra wraps on your spool, go ahead and wrap it up. Now come up to your pulley. And you should be ready to cut. So with the purchase of your shortcut tool, you also get a small guide shield. However, in this particular application, coming up the C-pillar here, um, it's easier to use a chisel stick, which is kind of easier to guide it while you're in this real tight area. Across the headliner, we'll go ahead and use our guide shield, um, and we'll get cutting. So with a shortcut system, you can use a ratchet or a drill. Uh, in this particular instance, with it being a confined space, there's not a lot of distance to go. We'll probably just be using the ratchet. We may use the drill on some of the longer sections. Um, with this ratchet assembly on the rear end of your tool, it can only spin one direction. Um, so it doesn't back drive when you stop cutting for a second. Okay, we're gonna start cutting now. Let's see, pillar. Let's see. Only goes one direction started. That was a pin breaking, which is a good thing. We're now going to move the tool. Um, we've got our angle right here. It's getting out of the most efficient range. So we're going to scoot it over, get our angle more acute. Release the cup before releasing your ratchet. Just makes it a lot easier on you as the user. Um, I'm going to come over around to there. Now's a good time to use this guide shield. It's a lot easier with the headliner. You just wedge it up there, make sure your glass or your strings against the glass. Head. Now we're gonna move our tool over here. Again, releasing the cup first. Release the ratchet. Pull it. Reset it in the corner. And now for this section, being a long straight section, we're going to go ahead and use our drill on it. Okay. Again, using our small guide shield, get it up, get the string against the glass, protect the headliner. Put the grip drill on. Make sure it's turning the right direction. Uh, so take off real slow so you don't damage the tool.
It, now we're going to tape the top of our glass so that we've gotten the whole top side cut out of it. Just to keep it from top falling once we get the bottom out. And you don't want just the bottom holding because you might crack the glass with it trying to lean over. Now I'm going to move the tool again, again with releasing the suction cup, the ratchet. I'm going to move it down here so we got room to get on it. As you know, we cut through some pins on the other side and along the top. We're expecting the same coming down on this side. Now I've gotten to another pin, I'm going to stick the ratchet on it. Again, removing the tool from the glass, um, release the cup, and release the ratchet, bring it over here. We should be able to move it just this last time for the replacement. Make sure your line is clear of belts down here. So, snug it up. Again, using our small guide shield, we're going to have it pulled off away from any interior body panels. and we are free. So as you can see with our new shortcut tool and our proven Gorilla Cord, cutting through this urethane on this rear glass of this 2014 Dodge was no problem at all. Uh, we cut through multiple pins, didn't have any issues. Uh, we believe that our shortcut is the best tool on the market for removing this particular piece of glass. Um, if you have any questions or concerns, don't be afraid to contact us. We'd love to hear from you.